Over here we've got Eddie. This is actually a fake pop. Now it's time for a hunt. This week I went out and I actually picked up a pop that's pretty new and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned to the end. I'm going to show you what that is. It fits with my Demon Slayer collection. So I'm pretty stoked on it. But aside from that, next month I'm attending an event called What's Poppin'. They have this night where they just do trades. You just show up with a bunch of pops you want to give away and you trade with other people, which is rad. So I'm actually going to be giving away uh, or at least bringing a, a good portion of my collection. And so at the end of the video, I'm going to be going over that as well. If you're going to the event, stay tuned. I'll show you some of the pops that uh, I'm, I don't know that you can potentially trade with me on. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's go on a hunt. Another visit to the mall. I love coming here. So FYE, they got some uh, good pieces. The main new ones I saw were this right here from Seven Deadly Sins. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that anime, but I've heard it's really good actually. Then this Harley Quinn 2 pack, which looks like it's from the Funko website. So that's pretty cool. Then I moved on over to Box Lunch, and here I did actually find some pretty cool new stuff. So you can see some uh, Kong Godzilla movie paraphernalia, whatever you want to call that. Uh, that made it sound like it was illegal or something. That was kind of weird. But the main thing I found was Sirius Black, the box launch exclusive where he's holding scabbers. That's actually a really cool pop. I'm not a huge uh, Harry Potter guy myself, but I thought that was pretty sweet. Now on to Hot Topic. Uh, not a ton has changed here except for a couple of things. They've got this Brendan Yuri pop uh, with, I think that hat is flocked, which is kind of cool. Then above it, I actually found one of the pops I was on a hunt for today, and that is the new Inosuke. So, that's really exciting, and I was stoked about that. All right, the mall was a moderate success. I actually found one pop I've been looking for, but now I think I'm gonna swing over to Target and see what they have. Maybe I can find some of the other pops I'm looking for. Good old Target in the heart of Utah Valley. There is not an hour of the day where this place is not swarming with people. It is so busy. Uh, I immediately noticed they had some uh, Target Con stuff left over. I really was thinking that that Sonic 2 pack was going to sell out like crazy, but I found like eight different ones in this store alone. So I don't know, guys. Like, I, I guess I was the only one who like was really excited about it. I have no idea. Anyway, I did keep looking. I found this cool Masters of the Universe t-shirt set, which I don't think I've ever seen before. I didn't even realize that was actually a Target Con uh, product. So that was pretty cool as well. Then tons more Target Con stuff here. This whole place was. I thought that uh, Robin and Steve was pretty sweet. And then I also noticed Elmo. So pretty cool. Okay, it was a pretty good hunt. Uh, I feel like I saw a couple of things that were cool, but the one thing that really got me excited, you probably already know what it is, is right here. And that is the new Inosuke uh, from Demon Slayer. This is the version, I think I think it's the second season, where they're hanging out with Tengen. I don't know what season that is. But it's the one where Inosuke, Zenitsu, and Tanjiro dress up as girls in the uh, entertainment district. That's what it's called. I saw on the app that uh, all three of those are available now on like Funko.com. So I figured there's a good chance that they're starting to show up in stores. This was the only one I found so far. I will get the other two when they show up. But I just thought this was really funny. It's like a really unique Inosuke. I love him and I'm just like happy that this is not one that's similar to the other Inoskes I've already made. So that's that's definitely why I picked this up. So there you have it, a new Inosuke. This is a really cool one and I'm excited to have it in my collection. All right, now let's get to my collection here. I'm gonna show off the pops that I'm gonna be bringing to What's Poppin' so that uh, if you're attending, you know, come take a look at my table and see if there's anything you wanna trade with me on. All right, so let's start on this side over here. I will preface this by saying that these aren't massive, huge hitter grails. Uh, most of these are cool pieces that aren't incredibly rare, but they're pieces I just kind of want to clear up space with. So first up top here, we've got a couple that I'm going to be uh, bringing to trade. That is the Civil War, Captain America, and Iron Man. These are really cool. I actually got these in a auction forever ago that I won. Um, they're cool pieces. Like I said, I just, I feel like my Marvel collection is growing smaller and smaller as time goes on. So there's probably someone else out there that would be really excited about those. There you go, there's a little bit more direct shot of those. So Iron Man and Captain America, those will be coming. Um, as well as this Blacklight Miles Morales from Target. That's a really cool one that I was on the hunt for for a couple of days actually. 
but I think, I just feel like I could get it to someone who appreciates it a little bit more than me. And if our trade works out, then why not? So that one will be coming as well. Then down here, we've got the 50s Vision Chase. I got this from Five Below. It was an incredible find. Um, but again, it's just kind of like a Marvel pop that I feel like I could just, uh, I don't know, give to someone who's maybe a little bit more of a, a Marvel collector as far as pops go. So that one will be there for trade. If you're interested in it, hit me up when we go. Um, oh, sorry, I did forget up here as well. Uh, Beta Ray Bill, really random pop, Walgreens exclusive 80 year Marvel anniversary. That one is gonna be coming with me too. And sorry, I'm adding this on after I filmed everything. I just decided I am going to be bringing this Thor right here. Uh, so if you're interested in that, that will be there as well. All right, now moving down here, we've got some of my basketball, some of my Pokemon Skyrim. Those ones are gonna be staying as well as Sonic. Um, let me maybe move some of this stuff. No, actually, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, we've got Blacklight Spider-Man from Target. I think this was bundled with a t-shirt forever ago, so it was kind of hard to get, and I know a lot of people were after it for a while. It actually, like, I feel like the, the value skyrocketed for a second, but I will be bringing this one. Um, it's one I've had forever. It's a really sick one. I really like it, but like I said, if the trade is right, I'm totally willing to, uh, to trade it away. So that one will be there as well if you're interested. Okay, now under here in this like extra storage, let me kind of adjust. I've got some pieces that really, I don't even know what to do with them. I'm gonna be honest. Superfly and April O'Neil. I probably won't even bring those because I don't think I can find anybody who's interested in those. I think you can find those pretty much anywhere. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Then um, over here, we've got Eddie. This is actually a fake pop. So I don't feel comfortable bringing that. So that's staying with me. Um, but okay, right here. Michael Jackson. This is Michael Jackson from the Thriller. Um, this is one that I actually bought for my niece. I intended to get it to her, but I don't know the next time I'm going to see her is. So I'm just going to trade it away. <laughs> Sorry, Aubrey. <laughs> Maybe I'm a horrible uncle, but uh, we're going to bring this over there and uh, see if there's anybody who's interested in it. I state my regret. You couldn't have memorized that? All right, now just so you got a little glance, none of these here are going to be going for trade because these are pretty much all like my, my favorite pops. Um, but I'm just going to show this thing goes up pretty high. <laughs> so none of those are going, but they're pretty sick. Nonetheless, I'm just showing those off because, uh, I'm very, I'm a very proud owner of those pops. Plus we got these chases over here. Pretty cool. Uh, those are the only four soda chases I have. And then one of them I had to literally buy the other three. I was lucky and found, but, uh, none of those are going either. Okay. Now the next pieces I will be bringing are actually all sodas. You can see these are ones I'm keeping as well. We've got some pops back there too. Um, but the sodas that I will be bringing for trade, uh, Hopper from Stranger Things, that is a common, uh, don't know if a lot of people are going to be interested in that, but I'll be bringing that as well as this Reptar common. That's a cool one. I wish it was the chase. If it was, I definitely wouldn't be getting rid of it, but it's pretty sweet. Then I have, uh, a common tails. Uh, I had to open up a couple of these to get the chase. So I have a common in here. I think there's some people out there that would want that one. In addition to the common, I actually have a sealed one that I did not open. I'm pretty certain it is a common, but you know what? It's sealed. So maybe someone would be interested in it. I will be bringing that. And then the last two, uh, Paul Atreides, I will be keeping that. So that one's not coming. I just think it's a really cool one. It is common, but it's still cool. I will be bringing the common Star-Lord. Maybe I will give this one away for free because I don't think anybody would even trade... Like, I don't think there's anything anybody would trade for this thing. These things just did not sell. So I'll probably just bring that and give it away, honestly. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are the pieces that I'm going to be bringing to What's Poppin' for trade. Again, that 50s Vision and the Blacklight Spider-Man, I feel like are probably the best ones. So if you're interested in either of those or any of the other pops I showed off, come hit me up at the event if you're there. And I'm more than happy to make a deal with you. So... There you go. That's this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below and I will catch you on the next one.